It's been well over six years since the release of Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain, yet the game still stands tall as one of the very best games of recent memory, and for good reason. Metal Gear Solid V excellently adapts its signature tactical espionage gameplay to an open-world format, all while employing a bevy of systemic game design techniques that makes its world extremely dynamic. On top of all that, Kojima has filled the game's vast spaces and expansive narrative with subtle details that are easy to miss for most players. To that effect, here are 15 such things you probably failed to notice in Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain that will get you playing it all over again. Mission Phantom Limbs – Rescuing Cos Miller One of the very first missions in Metal Gear Solid V requires players to sneak into an enemy encampment to find and rescue longtime ally Kazura Miller. It's a pretty open-ended level with many paths to achieving this goal, and once players have Kaz with them, they need to make their way to the LZ. As you approach the location, skulls appear around the location, making it hard to rendezvous with the fog all around. Under normal scenarios, you would just run away from them, defeat them, or go through undetected. At the end of the sequence, the mists clear and you are ready to board Pequod. However, if you leave Kaz behind for whatever reason, the skulls will appear once again and will try to kill Kaz. A little but a fantastic detail that many players may have likely missed. Sliding around in cardboard boxes The cardboard box is one of the most iconic tools in Metal Gear Solid and its rendition in The Phantom Pain has a lot more versatility than prior entries in the series. In addition to using the cardboard box to hide from enemies, players can also slide around slopes in cardboard boxes by equipping it at the right moment. If an enemy happens to lie in your path, he will most likely get knocked out on impact. Furthermore, you can use cardboard boxes to transport yourself around Mother Base in a rather hilarious fashion. Ocelot's Glasses in Huey's Trial Scene why won't you believe me? The prosecution calls a witness. In one of the cutscenes where scientist Huey is being prosecuted on the grounds of conspiring against Mother Base alongside other claims, keen-eyed players might notice that Huey is wearing an entirely new pair of square glasses, instead of the circular ones he used to wear earlier. This is because Ocelot had broken his previous pair in an interrogation scene that takes place beforehand. Utility of the Water Pistol the water pistol might seem a borderline useless weapon at first, although in reality it is something with a lot of tactical utility. Players can use it to shoot at an enemy's head, causing him to get momentarily stunned, which can then be followed by closing the distance and dispatching the enemy using CQC. Players can also use it to disable generators and other electrical equipment. Most interesting of all is its effectiveness in battle against the man on fire, who is immune to almost all other types of weapons. Although one should be informed that he will take a ton of shots before actually going down. Fish in the Water Legendary game director Hideo Kojima is known for filling the game's worlds with a lot of detail, and despite the long development cycle of Metal Gear Solid V, his signature style can be in spades in the final product. If you throw a stun grenade into the ocean when in Mother Base, you can actually see fish jumping out of the water, which is a neat little detail that most first-time players will most likely miss out on. Drowning Enemies in Water If Snake forces an enemy to get down near a ground surface that is covered with water, it will cause their face to be more or less submersed, which will eventually cause them to drown and die. Additionally, you can also throw a body into the water face first to achieve the same results. Granted, this isn't the most unique of details, but it is rather easy to miss for most players on their first playthrough. Distracting Skulls with Water 
the Skull Soldiers are easily one of the most difficult enemies to dispatch in Metal Gear Solid 5, thanks to their nimble yet aggressive nature and large pools of health. However, players can use the water pistol to momentarily stun the enemy, giving a chance to close the gap and perform CQC or deal damage using other firearms. The reasoning behind this behavior can be chalked up to the fact that parasites get distracted with water. This is the reason why skulls can be rather easily defeated in rain, where water is of course in steady supply and all around. Episode 43, Snake is Hesitant to Shoot Mission 43, Shining Lights, Even in Death, is easily one of the more dramatic sequences in Metal Gear Solid 5. Venom Snake has to make his way through a quarantine facility which holds many Diamond Dog soldiers who are infected with the parasite, and players have no choice except to get rid of them. However, considering they are Diamond Dogs, Snake obviously doesn't want to end their lives. This is reflected in the gameplay as well, as he will, at times, look away from the soldiers who are shooting to make his intentions crystal clear. Episode 43, The DD Soldiers Are Actual Recruited Staff During the course of the main game, players can recruit soldiers to Diamond Dogs by Fulton extracting enemy soldiers. The game tracks these statistics on the iDroid, wherein players can see whom they've recruited, and even their core stats like morale and utility, and whether they're alive or deceased. The soldiers you recruit are the same ones that can be seen in the game's many cutscenes. And these are the same soldiers who died at the hands of Snake in Mission 43. Once you kill a particular soldier, you can actually see their status being reflected in your iDroid. Episode 43, Making Diamonds from the Ashes After completing the emotionally striking Mission 43, players are greeted with a long cutscene where Snake gives tribute to his fallen comrades. Ashes of these deceased soldiers can be clearly seen in the background, and when Kaz asks Snake what to do with these remnants, he replies, we'll make diamonds from their ashes. Unsurprisingly, the Diamond Dogs actually do make diamonds, 3,000 to be precise, which are then rewarded to the player on completing the mission. Completing Episode 4 C2W beforehand. Players can actually complete the game's fourth mission, entitled Episode C2W, before even starting. If players roam around the open world of Afghanistan and happen to stumble upon the enemy camp where the mission takes place, they can destroy its communication equipment to complete C2W's main objectives. Following that, when you accept the mission, Ocelot will reveal that all comms have been destroyed, which then leads to mission completion almost immediately upon starting it. It's a reinforcement system by putting a hole in their base-to-base -base comms network. Head for the Eastern Communications Post and destroy its comms equipment. Uh, hold it, Miller. It's already been destroyed. What? The comms equipment? All of it? All of it. Well, great work, boss. Mission complete. Smoke grenades don't work in water. Metal Gear Solid V has an impressively reactive physics system where elements dynamically interact with each other to produce close approximations of real-life results. As such, if players throw smoke grenades in water, they wouldn't work. Yet another small but stunning detail. Knocking enemies out with magazines Much like the water gun, magazines are yet another surprisingly useful tool in Snake's arsenal. Players can obviously use these magazines to distract a guard, but they can even line up a throw to the head during reflex mode to knock an enemy out. These magazines are also infinite in number, which exacerbates the utility of this tool to a higher degree. Episode 13, Looking at the Chimney Episode 13 takes place in Mifinda Oil Field, a gargantuan oil facility housing chimneys that are visible from afar. If you use your binoculars to zoom in on them, you can actually listen to a couple of rather interesting dialogues from Ocelot. At first, he'll talk about the use of chimneys in the production, and how it contributes to acid rain. After that, he'll get annoyed at Snake, saying, What, never seen a chimney before? 
It would certainly explain the acid rain in the region. What? Never seen a chimney before? The entire game is likely a flashback. The Metal Gear Solid series is known for having storylines that can be hard to decipher, and this is certainly the case with The Phantom Pain. To that end, the game is most likely a flashback. The game opens up with Venom Snake looking in a mirror while he is about to listen to a tape titled From The Man Who Sold the World. According to the cutscene, this selection takes place in outer heaven, and one can clearly hear gunshots in the background. In the game's ending, players once again visit the same mirror, listen to two tapes, From The Man Who Sold the World and Operation Intrude in 313. These events likely indicate that the entire plot of MGS5 was a flashback with Venom looking back at past events and how he has to face Solid Snake now. And that brings us to the end of the video. A quick request, we upload new videos every single day, and if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps us out. Also, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon so that you can receive daily video updates. Thanks for watching.